Hey everybody, Lonely Writers Vlog. Uh, this time I was thinking of going over favorite stories. I think a lot of people tend to write multiple stories. Maybe you guys are only are only writing one story at a time. Some people, like even myself, I have two separate stories that I'm currently doing. One I'm really working on, the other one I'm not doing so much because that's like the super long story. But I always have all these different ideas. It's like I'll come up with an idea like I have one that's fairly old. It's about as old as the other story I'm actually um, taking a break from writing. And I've had that idea for a long time. It came up after my super long story, but it came up uh, it actually came up before the one I'm writing now, but that one I didn't. Re I just had like the concept for it, and I just thought of one today. It was kind of like an homage to one of my favorite games, which is No More Heroes. And I'd like the concept of that. The story for that game is fairly simple. You play as a guy. You go through these different ranks, fighting uh, different bosses and stuff, and you go up to the level, then you reach the boss. And I thought the make a cool story if it was done in a movie way but change certain things around it would be like two two main characters instead of one main character and they would have different personalities and stuff like that it would be a little bit more realistic you would just be they would just be fighting people with extraordinary skills it wouldn't be like the game where some people can like fly and stuff like that but i just thought about that and like change up some of the rules in the competition it's something that just popped into my head and thing about that is like you have all these different ideas and you do have to pick and it's kind of something that I may or may not have done wrong having gone with that first story even though it was long before I had the idea for the uh, story I'm currently writing because that story is very long and it's almost like if I had to put it into simple terms it's like the first story I started writing is more like the series story and then the second one is more like the movie story because it'll be much shorter it'll only be I think a hundred and fifty by the time I actually finish and I'm hoping to finish it in the notebook that it's in because I only wanted to do initially it was going to be super short and it was like it was going to be like every ten pages or so I wanted to do it where the character fought a different person because I was like I want this story to just finish and I was going to go through they have this is their objective they just go through 10 pages on this boss, this one, this one, and this one, and I'd finish by the end of the notebook, and that's, that idea's been out the window for about a year now, or probably a little more than that, because that's just not how I write. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough to actually be able to condense my stories into just one notebook, but that one I still hope to make shorter, but writing your favorite story, I think, is something that's really important for people, because for one, it's, it'll give you that drive to keep writing, like even though I've taken a lot of different breaks for random stuff like doing school work or just act normal work, I still want to go back to the writing because I enjoy the story I'm writing. It's not like I chose the story, like I just want this story because that's the one I wanted to finish really fast. It's part of why I had it, but at the same time, the initial idea was to make it really short and fit into one notebook and that's just gone now. And it's just a story I do still enjoy writing. I just want it to be my shorter story, and it still will be. But I didn't just pick a story that, like, I just it just popped into my head, so I started writing, even though I didn't really have anything for it. I just thought one random thing, and I thought, I'm just going to write this. I, picked, I chose a story based on the idea that I had, and I had a, a lot of actual content to it. How I wanted to write it, with it being the separate bosses, is still in there. It's just not nearly as quick. It's not 10 pages, which I guess is technically a lot for just two people fighting against each other, but that's just not how it played out. It became a typical story where it has multiple characters and actual dialogue where they aren't just trying to kill each other. It's people who like each other and then people who don't like each other where they come across at certain times. So it's a more general story compared to just tournament sort of story where he's going through people to get uh, to the end but I chose that story because it was something I enjoyed when I thought about the concept and just like the original story I enjoyed that concept I wanted to create a story and that one was sort of just kind of my blend everything together to sort of story where I take certain ideas that I really enjoy like superpowers or something if I want to give a certain character superpowers I put it into that story and if I like tournaments or something or I want to have a character that's 
nerdy but at the same time not super nerdy where people would be like oh that's the nerd it's like that person just makes all the references they're clearly nerdy but they get things done they also fight during the fighting situations they don't just run away from the fight like oh i'm the nerdy character i can't do that it's a story i wanted to write because i enjoyed it and at the time it was my favorite story and now i guess i have two favorite stories and then i have all these different ideas which I would love to write out one day. Like, I have certain things in my head for those stories that would be big points in those random stories that I just made up. But I couldn't just stop, like, the second story I'm writing and then decide I'm going to go off and write a third story and just have two unfinished stories. If I did that, I would kind of never get anywhere because I would just keep starting things and then never finishing them. And if you do that, then what's the point of actually writing when you don't? finish the story that you want to create it's just it starts and then goes nowhere just cliffhangers and everyone hates a cliffhanger that goes nowhere like a canceled tv show so you have to choose which story you want to write you have to write not only your favorite but i think what you're best at because you can have a favorite story where it's like you're the one where it's just everything mashed together like oh references here zombies and outer space and laser beams and stuff but if you can't write that story, you just can't mentally do it because you don't know how you want it to go. It does, or when you write it out, you think, I don't enjoy this myself personally. So it might make you more conscious of what other people think. Or you know that if you don't like it yourself, then you don't even want it out there. Because I think some people can do that where it's like, I don't even like this story, but I just make it almost like music. Where a lot of pop type of music is some sort of just... Eh, here's for everybody but the person doing the song might not exactly like that song it could just be like hey this is the one that's going to make me a bunch of money and the same type of thing goes for people who can who make movies and they can do that type of stuff because they've already made one or, or two movies that where it's like this is what i wanted to do and it made me a bunch of money now i can just do this and then just put it out in the world but when you're doing something like i am where it's just you're writing a story that you hope to have out in the world you can't just make something crappy because you won't want to do it and it'll take even longer than it would normally take where people for people when they do like an actual story and that when you generally hear it it takes years and it would take maybe two, two three times more than that if you don't actually like the story that you're going through so i think people should write the stories that are their favorites you can have multiple favorites just like you got multiple favorites of anything, but it's a little different. You do kind of have to pick one other one, unless you can really focus on two at a time and you can kind of do one day with this, the other day with that. So you can, um, I guess, finish at the same time for both stories or at least finish close to each other, depending on how long each story is. But I feel like you have to choose your favorite, what really speaks to you more than anything else. And if you have a situation like I do, where you had the initial story and you were going through and you still enjoy it like i still love that story i ended it on a cliffhanger i got to a point where i was like this is good and that's where i stopped it. and that's actually where i started to type the story and i realized while i was typing as much editing as i was doing going through it and even expanding some of the stuff that i might have skipped over or just naturally messed up because i'm just an amateur writer when i was going through i realized this is even longer than what I wrote out because I was adding so much stuff or I was adding extra detail about maybe clothing or whatever. And throughout the rest of the story that I have, I don't know how long that's gonna be and that's how I got into writing the second story that I'm doing right now. And like I said, they're, I guess, both my favorites because I chose to write those two stories out of the, I guess, handful of ideas that I've had but you really gotta i feel like you have to focus like of course that's just me i don't know what you guys can or cannot do but for me personally i have to focus on one story at a time because for one it allows me to just think creatively and also remember that story like i said this i said that i wanted to go in this direction and then i don't mix anything up in my stories because that's not something you typically want to do where you have two separate stories just like when you're writing something and maybe you hear something in the background or you even think ahead of what you're actually writing and then you might skip words which i did all the time when i first started writing and i still do it now sometimes where i'll think out the entire sentence and i'll do it three or four times like 
okay, I think that sounds right. Maybe I'll change this word. And so I'll start writing the sentence. I'll write like two words and then I'll repeat the sentence again and I might skip the third word and then write out the fourth word and I do that all the time. And that type of thing you don't want to do where you're just thinking about the wrong stuff. Like, oh, this person didn't say that. That was my other story, which may or may not happen a lot to people. It depends on how similar your stories actually are. Like, mine would be so different. It might happen as far as certain abilities go, but I don't, like, I wouldn't get names mixed up or anything like that. But I think it's good to choose your favorite story to write or at least the most prominent story or what you know I can do this and get it done. It's not going to be this overarching thing that's going to last for who knows how long, even if I'm just writing it for myself. I feel like you got to pick a story. They can both be your favorites, but just pick one and try to stick to it unless you can do both. Like I said, I don't know what you guys are capable of. I just know myself personally. I It's too risky for me to just keep writing back and forth like I can do one day for story one and then the next day is story two or something like that or even in the same day i'd probably you know rewrite something or write something in that's from the other story and i'm just because i'm thinking of that other story because i ended it and i was trying to figure out where do i want to go from there and then i carried that thought process over to story two and it would just mess up my writing but go with your favorite story whatever appeals to you the most or Whichever idea you've had the most, even if you're writing something now, I think it couldn't hurt to at least consider the options that you've had before, like the other ideas you've come up with, where if it is that second story where you started writing your first story, but you've constantly thought about that second story, I don't think it could hurt to at least write out a little summary or try to do as much as you can for that story, but in like one page and just like skip or skim through the entire story and just make just a one-page summary if you can do that or if you even want to but if it's in your head there's a reason for that so definitely go out and try to write your favorite story and definitely what whatever comes to you the most I think that's what people should go for and of course like always you can comment below and put in any information you have about making stories whether it's starting them or putting them out into the world any information you have of course, comment below and let everyone who might come across this know. And thanks for watching.